and everyone's staying safe and happy. Um, so welcome to video three. Lost count, only done two videos and already lost complete count and keeping track of what already I'm already up to. Um, so we've done a recap. We have done a quick video of finding stuff to work with at home in the house and outside. Things you can press into the clay to make textures and tools you can use for your hand building. And we did a video on pinch potting. So to progress on from pinch potting, I'm going to show you how to coil. Um, coiling is wonderful. I love coiling because you can do huge big forms with coiling that are really strong. Like the, I don't know if you've seen my um, Facebook or Instagram page before and you've seen the big buckets that I've made, then I coil them. Um, you can make lovely things like this little, these little bud vases from coiling. How adorable are they? Um, anything. My mat made Ricky's uh, water bowl with coiling. Um, you can literally do anything. Coiling's beautiful. Um, and it's really relaxing and therapeutic once you get into it. So I'm going to show you how to coil from pinch pots. So hopefully you've all kind of seen how we've pinch potted. If not, I have another nosy through Facebook or Instagram. It would be the last post that I've done, I think. Um, yeah, so I have got a bowl that I have pinch potted, okay? Fairly big, yeah, lovely pinch potted bowl. Um, what I am then going to do is add coils on top to make this bowl um, even bigger, to make it into a bit of a vase, okay? Coils are clay worms. That's the fancy word for them. They are clay worms. And depending where you put a coil on a pot will depend on the shape your pot takes, takes for, the form your pot takes. There we go. Never been one for the words. Well, I've been one for the words, but not much making the sense of the words. Okay, so how to roll a coil. How to roll a worm. Okay, popping you back down there. Okay, when you are rolling a worm or a coil, I'm gonna start with a piece of clay, surprisingly, and then I always like to start with just quickly getting it into the sausage can form with my hands, okay? And then putting it either on the table, or if you're like me, I'm working on Matt's army box, um, or also the floor I've been using to making coils because it's a brilliant surface. Um, when you start to roll your coils, I, I roll and find it easier um, to be rolling with here, with the palm, with the bottom part of your hand. So as you're rolling and moving across, my coils are quite dry because I've been starting to get ready for the video and then got sidetracked with playing with dogs, so the clay's been out for quite a while. Um, so yeah, so can you see on the video how I am just moving up and down the, the clay worm to make a nice, even coil? When making a coil, my kind of rule is you don't want to go any thinner um, than your little finger. So for children, it would be don't really go any thinner than maybe your thumb. Um, yeah, so have a look at my little finger. Yeah, okay. Because nobody wants a really thin worm because that's just not going to give you the structure and support that your pot needs. So something like this. Quite nice, substantial worm. Nice, pretty thing. Okay, so... What you're gonna do is make a load of them, or you can coil as you go. You're gonna get your pot. Okay, then again, depending where you put your coils depends on the shape of your pot. So if I am putting my coil directly on top of the rim of my pinch pot that I have already made, yeah, can you see how I'm just taking it directly on top, then I'm overlapping the worm. So I'm only going to do two because that's what you should really do before you start smoothing, I suppose. But can you see how that's directly on top of each coil? So if I keep going at this rate, it means that my pot should stay that kind of that kind of shape going all the way up like that. Yeah, so it could have a nice straight pot. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're adding your coil is you're going to smooth them all together. So either using your lollipop stick or your thumb, whichever you find better. There is a difference between pinching and smoothing. So when I was saying with your pinch pot, you need to pinch it to make it bigger. With your coils, you need to smooth it. You want all of these individual coils to join together. You wanna to make sure that the air in between them, there's none there. You wanna trick the clay into thinking that all of these worms have always been stuck together, okay? Because otherwise, if they're not smoothed together properly, when they start to dry, they're all just gonna come apart. Okay, so 
With, I'm right handed, so my left hand kind of is always what I use for support. Um, so I'm putting my left hand inside the pot just as a support. So when I'm starting to drag the clay across like this, my, can you see, I'm really bad with doing these with videos. Um, can you see how my left hand is bet isn't doing anything? It's just there, it's just supporting it. So when this hand's pressing, um, with the lollipop stick and dragging the clay, it's not plonk falling because it's got a little bit of a solid structure there against it, but nothing is happening. I am not squeezing, I am not pressing, I am not thinning the structure out, okay? So it's the main thing to remember. A lot of people when they first start to coil, press like this, okay? So I'm squeezing my pot there, okay? So I have squeezed that and all I have made it do is uneven, can you see? It has not put the joints together, you can still see the lines, and it's just making a really thin, brittle pot. Okay, which isn't gonna be good for anyone really, um, but we can always fix it, that's the best thing with clay. If you feel like you're going a bit wrong, it's fine, you can just add a little bit more clay. So, with my lollipop stick, I am just dragging the clay all the way around. I'm not worried about it being super smooth, I'm not worried about anything like that. My main focus at this moment is to join these coils onto my pinch pot. Okay, that's all I'm worried about. I don't, not, don't mind that it's really rough and ready. I just want a really strong structure for when I keep building it to make it really tall or really big, the pot can handle it. So all the way around, can you see, you can't see a join, okay? You can see a lot of mess, but you can't see a join. You are gonna do the exact same on the inside of your pot too. So my left hand is its supporting pot, is its supporting pot, its supporting hand. Just going on the outside. My right hand's got the lollipop stick and I am just dragging the clay from the inside, I shall show you now. So you don't have to, it doesn't have to be dragged a specific way. If the clay wants you to drag up, drag up. If it wants you to, Drag diagonally, drag diagonally. There's no right or wrong way. You just literally just want to make sure that the pot's smoothed together and stuck together. So I am just rough and ready, smoothing him down. Again, can you see how I'm not worried at all about how the pot's looking? I don't mind that it's a mess because it's that's the stuff you do at the end. You make it all fancy at the end. Get your structure made first, okay? So we smoothed on the inside and on the outside, okay? So now if I wanna to continue to make it taller, I'll get another coil, place it directly on top of the pot, like that, yeah? And just keep going. You can just keep going and going and going. Hi, Roop. Keep going like this and keep building up, okay? And then you can keep making it, hey buddy. Okay, and you can just keep going taller. And every time you add a couple of coils, smooth it together, join it down, okay? Yeah, all the way around. When you've got the pot, the height that you want to, to have got it to, then you can spend your time smoothing it and your fingers are just the best tool for that. Taking your pot and then just smoothing the clay. But I can spend hours, I'm gonna take that off. I can spend hours smoothing a pot, okay? Just, you've got to just take your time with it. The smoothing will come with time and you'll get it looking as beautiful as you want it to go. But can you see how just within a second, using my thumb, the difference between that end, edge, and this part. That's just me smoothing with my thumb, okay? So that is a way of pinch potting and adding the pinch pots and coils together to create a really nice kind of vessel, bars, okay? So, as I said earlier on in the video, where you put your coils depends on where the shape of your pot is gonna be. So this is like a bottle, of, um, being from the pot trees, uh, a nice bottle um, shape. So, how I've got this form, hi Dot. Thank you, thank you. So how I've got this form is just by putting the coils in different places, okay? So, if I wanted to make this pot here, start to go out, yeah, start to give it a nice big fat belly. Instead of putting the coils 
directly on top of the rim, like we've just been doing to make it go straight, we're gonna to start to put the coils on the outside. So I'm gonna show you, okay? So every time I put it on, it's just going on the outside a little bit of each coil. So almost, can you, mm, I don't know if you can see that from there with that video. Okay, can you see how it's not directly on, it's almost coming out like that, can you see that? Yeah? Okay, so I'm just putting it on the outside. Yeah, so there's the inside, there's the outside. So it's just going on there. And then what I'll do again, as smooth as I go, so I've got my left hand as support, my right hand being smoother. I'm just gonna pop it in. You can tip your pot up, that's fine. And I'm just gonna roughly smooth it together. Okay, and you're gonna go round. That is how you bring the pot go, to go out when you're adding your coils. Okay. So you go all the way around and then again on the inside you're going to smooth it like so. If you can hear licking it's because we're using the dog water bowl as a prop for this and Rupert is just having the world's longest drink. So that's what the licking um, water is. He never has a drink, like he'll go hours and hours and hours without drinking and then he'll drink for about five minutes solid. Just getting all of his fluids, okay? But can you see how that has gone from being straight where I was adding the coils and started to go out like so because of where I've just added, yeah? So that's how I'm bringing the coils out. So if I'm going to start bringing the pot to go back in, it's just the opposite. You're just going to start by putting the coils on the inside of each individual coil. I hope my explanation is making sense to you. Otherwise, if not, I'm going to have lots of very confused people watching these thinking, what is she going on about? She does ramble. Okay, so here, um, yours is gonna be a lot neater and a lot better because you're gonna be smoothing and doing the stuff as you go along and drawing it together. I'm just trying to get it done quick so that these aren't the world's longest videos for you. Okay, so here, okay? So that's where it's gone out, so that's where it is. So I want to start bringing my pot in again so can you see how I've just put it on the inside of each time I've added a coil? So then when I come to smooth and join it together using this hand of support and dragging the clay and that, like so. Look at that, can you see how we started to make the pot go out a bit and then in a bit? Yeah? Hope so. I hope that's working. I hope, I hope that's all made sense for you. So you could keep going and going and adding coils in and then start bringing them back out to make a beautiful kind of vase or play with the form. Totally up to you. So when you've got the structure that you want to have, like I said before, that's when you spend your time with your fingers smoothing, and you can you can change the shape and manipulate it. The clay is still wet as you go round. Yeah, nothing set in stone. When you have so to go to show that it really takes a bit of time um, and patience to smooth. I've joined it together, started to smooth there. Really spent some time in smoothing. You've just gotta have some patience with it. But again, when you've got your form, whether you wanted to make a series of little bud vases to practice pinch potting and adding coils on top, big ones. If you just wanted to go straight in and make a big massive pot, please do. Um, yeah, just keep adding. You do not need to add water or even slip or anything when you're coiling and hand building this way. Because the clay is already wet, gravity it's already heavy. Gravity is wanting to pull it down. So the more water or slip or anything like that you add to it at this point, it's just gonna make it really wet and heavy. So if you start building your pot directly in now, the weight of it is just gonna bring it in and you could just end up with your pot just kind of collapsing, okay? So don't be adding loads of water. Once you've got um, it all smooth and you've got it how it wants, if you feel like there's bits of cracks, then just add a, add a tiny bit on your finger and smooth it down. But please don't coat your pots and water just because 
can just end up in a sloppy mess and there's nothing worse than you making a beautiful pot and then water just being like i'm just gonna bring you down um yeah hand building's different than throwing that way throwing need lots of water lots of mess hand building not so much um so that's a quick tip um another thing if you started making your pots and you decide oh i'm gonna finish this a little bit later um pop them in your boxes um, those that have brought cleaner box pop them back in the boxes keep them airtight and you can get, get stuck straight back into it um those of you that are not got clay from a box um pop it in a plastic bag to keep it airtight anything like that as long as it's airtight you can rework with it it's absolutely golden to do that um with scraps of clay if you're starting to get a little bit of scraps of clay like this that are a bit hard that don't make the perfect kind of worms at the moment um Take your, take your scraps, keep them together, and if you've got like a little sandwich bag or anything like that, pop them in the sandwich bag, okay? And then with your, I did have a bowl with some water in. We're gonna pretend this orange juice is water. Um, you're gonna literally, with a few droplets of water, just pop it in here. You don't need much at all, just a few drops, just so the clay can soak up the bits of water. Keep it airtight, okay? Keep it in the bag, keep it airtight. And then um, I'm going to do another video of how to wedge your clay back together so it's recycled and then you can use it again. Um, so yeah, so that's coiling from pinch potting um, and how to make kind of bigger forms with it and just kind of play around. Play around with what the clay can do. Um, yeah, why not make some pinch pots, add some coils underneath. Yeah, so you can make little pinch pots with feet. How adorable is that? When these are fired, um, for those of you that have, have the clay that your work is then going to be fired, these will be beautiful. Fired and painted in clays. How amazing are they as little like, whiskey glasses? Cute. So yeah, another thing. Don't forget then, like I say, when you've got your forms to play around, to draw into them, to add into them. If you've got any um, things you could press on, like the star anise or anything like that to add texture, um, just play around. I hope this video has helped with coiling um, and pinch potting together and kind of brought them two methods um together i hope it's all made sense again any questions please ask that's what i'm here for um so yeah keep your eyes posted then a couple of videos to come are for the ones with the adult boxes and um, the ones where you work's gonna get fired about um slip and joining your things together and just that little bit more of an advanced step um, and also the recycling um of your clay video they're all going to come up over the next couple of days and then from these, I want to see your photos. I've also had some, um, I've had beautiful photos actually being sent to me already by what people have been making with stuff at home from their clay. Um, so keep me posted, let me know, let me see what you're doing. Um, I'll start posting some of them so you guys can see. But yeah, if there's anything you want me to show you to kind of how to make or, yeah, you're struggling with, just let me know. But um, these are one of the basic kind of skills, um, hand building skills that you kind of really need to know. Um, and then from these, these are what we're going to learn to use even to start making some more awesome things. So yeah, chicken's coming up next week for you, Gemma and Annabelle. And I think that's everything. I feel like I just rambled for these past minute or so. Um, but yeah, stay smiling, stay safe, stay active. Um, and then yeah, and I'm here. So get in touch and I look forward to speaking and seeing seeing you all soon hopefully um okay thanks guys bye